Hello, time for another Gita video. And today we're covering quite a few verses. Chapter 2, verse 67 to 72, which end up finishing the second chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. And in the last video, we were talking about um, how enlightenment requires one to have discipline over the senses and to overcome the fantasies, the notions that act as a barrier between you and the real. In other words, the unrealness that you project through your desires, uh, through your repulsion, through uh, all of your discomforts with the way things actually are. Right? And that this is the biggest barrier. Your disunification within you, between you and your, your soul, super soul, your higher self, and outside of you, between your unification between you and the reality that is around you. So let's read the, the verses now. If one is being led by the senses, constantly distracted by one's mind, one's awareness is lost. One becomes like a boat on a windswept ocean. Thus, great warrior, one who can make the distinction between the senses and the sensed, he is in awareness. When others are in the dark of night, such a person is awake and in control. And what others consider being awake, the mystic knows to be nothing but the dark of the night. As the oceans are constantly being filled by water flowing into them, so is one constantly being filled with desires. One who is trying to fulfill all of his desires will never be at peace. But in giving up desires, living free of lust or a sense of material possessiveness, you lose the ego, you attain peace. Son of Partha, one who is unaware of the real, can never gain this spiritual state. But if you can obtain this state, even at the very end of life, you will reach the divine nirvana. So, if you let yourself get lost in these kind of um, fantasies that you project out there, you're lost in the turbulent ocean, in the distraction and dispersion of your ego. It restricts you and limits you. It separates you from what is real. So you can't, you can't possibly force life to make the world how you would imagine that it should be based on those fairy tales inside your head. Right? Um, no amount of, of your effort will ever achieve that. So sensibly, the thing would be to drop them. Right? And your head will just keep producing more and more fairy tales. Someone once said that the, the two saddest words in human speech are if only. Well, you're constantly going to be producing more if onlys. Uh, if only you could have a certain thing, uh, or do a certain thing, or be a certain thing, then you would be at peace. Then everything would be okay. Right? But it never is. Even, even when you attain something that you think is going to be the solution, it never turns out to be the solution because there is no the solution. There is no thing except life itself and being in life itself and connecting to life as it is, not as you want it to be, but as it is, and working with that life in connection to your higher being, acting on your super soul, um, fulfilling your true will within life as it is, that is the 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 only true peace that there is. And it is a peace that doesn't guarantee anything. It doesn't guarantee that you're going to succeed. It doesn't, gonna it doesn't guarantee that you're going to find, you know, uh, praise, that you're going to find love. It doesn't guarantee that people are going to support you. It doesn't guarantee that you aren't going to die penniless and alone. Uh, it doesn't guarantee that you aren't going to get yourself killed. Um, a lot of the great masters throughout history have, have had lives that if you look at them on a purely objective level, ended up pretty miserable, right? I mean, they were stoned to death, they were crucified, they uh, ended up never finding uh, a dignified position in the society that they were in, uh, they were broke, um, they were rejected by their own culture, they were forced into exile. These are the sort of things that happen to awakened people. So if if you think that the, the Enlightenment is something that is going to then 
grant you the power to impose your will on, on the world, that is exactly the opposite of what it does. Instead, what it grants you is the inner peace of knowing that you are um, connected to this whole bigger thing than you. you. You've overcome yourself, and it's not just about you now. Reality isn't about you. It never was, but you used to think it was. And you are now able to act um, knowing that there's this, this whole bigger thing around you and that what you thought you desired, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, so this is what is meant by, by material possessiveness, right? This idea that you're the center of the universe, that you're what matters, that you have to get your way and that, you know, um, God is someone who's out there to, to satisfy your whims and if he's not, then you're going to be mad, um, these are fantasy things that you have to draw. This is the, the great task of spirituality, is to overcome fantasy and connect to reality, naked reality. Uh, reality that is at once ugly and magnificent, right? The tantrics have a saying. They say, this very body, the Buddha, this very place, the lotus paradise, this very body, the corpse, this very place, the charnel grounds, right? So this is both... Uh, the, the, the best of all possible reality, because it is reality, and it's also the worst. And the, the trick isn't to try to get away from the worst to get to the best. The, the trick is to be the best uh, within reality as it is. You have to be able to make a distinction between the senses and what is sensed, between what you would like to see and what is really there. And if you can focus on what is really there in this moment, on what is real, then you're going to have a peace, which is not peace, perhaps as, as your fantasies want to imagine, but it's a totally different peace. It's a peace that is this peace of transcendence, of, of being part of something enormous, and uh, that, is, that is the work, the great work, of a thousand generations and within that knowing that you are going to be fulfilling your part in it absolutely that's all that can be said about this subject